continuing our strange journey down the remedy rabbit hole, I suppose is one way of putting it, with Control after finishing Alan Wake Remastered. Um, so, I, I, as I understand it, Control's sort of adjacent to Alan Wake or in a similar... has similar themes, connections, but it's not like directly connected but maybe there'll be some similar themes around maybe like alternate realities adjacent realities like a very meta fourth wall breaking kind of stuff i just guess i guess we'll see as we move in i've only loaded the game up once just to check for performance because i know this game can be uh you need to get the settings tweaked i've seen it in quite a lot of um benchmarking videos and stuff when you're looking at computer hardware so i just wanted to make sure it was running okay because uh, it does seem a, li a little bit like the the way it's optimized seems a little bit off at times. Uh, so we might have to tweak that as we go through. Uh, I, am I have decided to play on controller at first at least. But we'll see how the aiming is when we get into the combat, which I've not seen any of yet. Um, now, I, I did say to a few of you in the comments that I was going to be playing the bonus, the DLC for Alan Wake now before this. But uh, I did start recording that, but uh, I got so mad with the combat in the in the first dlc i was recording for like an hour and uh, i got so mad i got so unbelievably <laughs> apoplectically mad that i rage quit and i'm just not playing it because <laughs> honestly I've, that has never happened to me before while recording for youtube i've never rage quit uh but i just i couldn't handle it just throwing enemies at me so i'm sorry about that but i just can't go back to that i just cannot do that dlc uh, I could do it. I just I don't want to. It was so frustrating. So I'm sorry about that. But I just I can't I can't put up with it. I'm excited for control. Um, let's get going. Uh, I've got the notepad here. Um, I sk I've skipped this cutscene every time when I was testing. Fair warning. So. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Oh, Jesse can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like, we live in a room, and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it, and we think that's the whole world. The room, and the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We are lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Okay. Hello? Okay. So, we're Jessie. Anyone here? Someone has called her here. Perhaps a voice in her head. Because she said she tried to block it out. 
It definitely sounds like a voice or a person that she's familiar with and has spoken to multiple times and has perhaps taken her to other places. Uh, a lot of information in that opening cutscene. And then she was saying about the poster, how you need to get behind it or sometimes things that are behind the poster, which is like the, the thing that stops you from seeing the real, what the, the truth. Sometimes that occasionally jumps out from behind the poster too. Interesting. So we've got some weird like kaleidoscopic effect here when we stare at this thing. This is all I did to test out the performance. I just ran around this little room. So yeah, I'm gonna, uh, the game feels much nicer on controller for me. But um, if, the, if the, depending on how the combat feels, we'll try out mouse and keyboard. So this guy was in the cutscene also, the guy with the grey goatee. Uh, perhaps he's in charge but here at the bureau. There was a, a classic evil bald guy on like in front of like a red background. So Federal Bureau of Control in, uh, insinuates that this is a, a government facility. Can zoom in on left trigger is that yeah final warning do not bring classified documents beyond the executive security desk or you will be terminated chief of staff can't quite make out the last bit okay so the place seems pretty abandoned but it also seems like it's in the middle of a city um, like New York or Chicago or, or something like that, maybe Los Angeles, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know, are all, I don't know where, where the federal buildings are all in the, in the, in the capital or whether some of them are scattered around in various different places. Metal detector. Correspondence. No, oh, did I press the wrong button? Prohibited items reminder. Federal Bureau of Control. Reminder, certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an issue reminder an issued reminder on prohibited materials, unauthorized weapons, pages, laptops, smart watches, smart phones, smart gaming devices, anything smart. <laughs> the people as well. Number two, pencils. Any object considered iconic representations of an archetypal concept, e.g. rubber ducks and ketchup bottles. All material under bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your superior immediately. Interesting. No case files or research and records, multimedia, missions, assets, and weapons loadouts. Weapon loadouts. Thank you, door. Oh, oh yeah, the, the only other thing that I was uh, that I don't like about the mouse and keyboard is there. Are, I think there are three movements, the four movement speeds. There's like a slow walk, a fast walk, and a a jog and a sprint. Whereas you don't get the slow walk on mouse and keyboard. I think you can mod it in by adding a second button. Um, but I like walking around, especially games that are this, like, you know, that have all the ray tracing and potentially going to be, you know, technical marvel to look at. Right, we've got like a side office here, a little power room. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. Hmm. Bureau expenditures. 
Staffing, surveillance, redacted, data center initiative, construction, redacted, redacted, and minor. Office equipment, janitorial costs, redacted, mold removal, the cost breakdown spreadsheet, see page five. Uh, compiled by the F Federal Bureau, Bureau, Bureau of Control Accounting Department by order of Director Zachariah Trench. Let's uh, write that down. Uh, Zachariah Trench is the uh, director of the uh, FBC. I'm going to take notes. Uh, if it seems like the game kind of documents everything quite well for us and summarizes it, then... Is that a coffee flask? Can't escape it. Uh, looks like a text just failed to load in here. Great. There we go. There, there it goes. <laughs> All right, so we can sprint. Head of research, Dr. Casper Darling. Nice bow tie. Okay, I, sorry, I'm going to take notes. I've got to take notes. Casper. Casper Darling. Another goatee. There's a pattern developing. News brief briefcase. Our bureau at work. Doing what? So this guy's got like a maintenance belt on, I guess. A tool belt, sorry. A sprint on L3, yeah? Yep. There's Zachariah Trench, who we've made a note of. They've all got Van Dykes. How suspicious. Oh, it's our reflection. Defib there. Is this the bathroom? Okay, nothing of note in here. Currently, at least. Okay. Federal Bureau of Control. Why is the All place abandoned? Years, I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. And we just strolled in here? How bizarre, right? I heard something. I mean, is this just after hours? But if it's after hours, then the place would be locked. Can I crouch? Jump. Oh, I can change the camera. Uh, up is the map on the D-pad. Down is to shift the camera. Surely I'd be able to. Should be able to crouch under there. Maybe later. Is there actually a window there? I think there is. It does, does look like it's completely empty there. Pistachios, crisps, all nondescript. Okay, so if, if the place is abandoned, um, something's obviously gone wrong, quite badly wrong. Is this another Alan Wake callback with the tape player? Security order. Federal Bureau of Control. Attention all. Redacted. Something. <laughs> a lot redacted. A shark in his. Although secure. Permission to follow in basic protocol. Shoot to kill. <laughs> a shark? <laughs> okay, great. A shark is on the loose. God, this is eerie, isn't it? Okay. Oh, there's the cleaner over there. The game is quite dark at the minute. You guys will have to let me know. I'll turn the brightness up if it's too, 
doesn't look right for you guys. R4 reports reminder. Nothing redacted uh, to the executive sec to executive sector staff from the from admin subject is R4 reports are due soon. Hello. As you all should know by now, the R4 reports are due by the end of the week. We're still waiting on them for a number of people. If you need an extension, please request form R4.E from your supervisor. If you think you're exempt from filing an R4, then you'll need to get written permission from your department chief saying so. Remember, R4s are mandatory under section 75.2 of the employee manual. If your R4 requires interdepartmental claims, then please contact the appropriate department head, Dr. Darling, Miss Marshall, Mr. Salvador, and Mr. Kirkland, as needed. They'll be busy on Thursday in their annual policy review, so please schedule accordingly. Best your admin team. God, these are really, it's really, it really is admin that we're picking up here. Man, look at all these flasks everywhere. Except they're red now. Hello there, sir. Hello? Jane Smith. Now we really need a torch. Oh, look at the reflections. Hey, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, Relevant. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you hold. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Arty the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at Artie. all. Scandinavian he sounded. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Oh. Proceed deeper into the bureau, sure. So we didn't say yes or no, we just sort of followed his directions. We're obviously not here to interview for that job. Yeah, very sterile here, isn't it? The doors all open of their own volition. Always worrying. A broom. Great. Zachariah. Uh, can the is the hood always on the screen? Right, he told us to take the elevator. Let's just have a look over this side. Is this where we've already been? Have we just done a big circle? Yeah, it looks that way. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. Right. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help?
<laughs> Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. Okay. So, the FBC took Dylan 17 years ago. Whether that's the voice in our heads, I'm not sure. Whenever that kaleidoscopic effect shows up, it seems to be the voice communicating with us. Could that be an Alan Wake reference? Not sure. The mountains and the lake. Zachariah again. Oldest house discovered August, 4th of August, 1964. Interesting. Discovered? So this whole building was a discovery. It wasn't built? Approved terminology reminder. Reminder: drafting any public for, for pub for drafting any public facing material. While penning any notifications of death related to the Willow AWE, please adhere to the following guidelines. Words and phrases in the service of his her country, regret, proud, and pride will be remembered. Phrases to avoid: Alaska, scissors, blood and bleed, loss, apologies. I'm sorry. Zachariah again. The oldest man in the world. We tell ourselves it's okay to be old. The retirement issue. Right. We need a key card of some sort there. God, he's like a dictator or something with the other pictures of him everywhere. Yeah, I really need a torch. A flashlight. There are these like huge exposed pipes as well. I guess this is like a mailing system? That's what it seems like. Do not disturb. Barbara? Barbara? No, can't be that Barbara. I'm Alan White. I'm not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day, for the rest of the week. I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one. Trench. No, that's Zachariah, right? Zachariah Trench. Yep. Oh, we can zoom in on that. It's good to know. Oh, I'm alright, thanks. Nope. Oh, right, only one way then. Just check here first. Help me out, Zach. Shit, shit, shit. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? So yeah, that kaleidoscopic effect is the this entity we're communicating with. That's trench, yeah. So we saw that in the opening cutscene, right? We saw him get his head blown off. Something's outside. Oh, was coming here a mistake. Look at this gun. Oh, it's like a, uh, it's like Officer K's gun from Blade Runner. Oh, 
The board. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner, and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> Follow the board's instructions to complete the Astral Plane Challenge. Oh, I've forgotten what AWE meant. Or oh, something event. Something altered world. Altered world event, I think it was. Right, we've got health in the bottom left. Oh, we've got a reticle. Can we get rid of that? The bubblegum Polaroid, all or none of the above. These are the concepts, tattoos we see in your minds. The service weapon. Complete the so ast we're in the, we're in the astral plane. Oh, I can see the gun over there. Oh, hey. Right, we've got a melee attack on track Y. Oof! It's like a sumo punch. Palm strike. The same gun. Control the gun, control the house. Yeah. So it recharges on its own, it seems. Right, it's just a time sensitive thing. I'm reasonably comfortable with doing that on controller. We'll see how it goes though. Boo! Can we take cover? Is there like an auto fire maybe? No. Oh, it's got a nice sound though. Okay, two hits on them now. There's someone shooting at me. Yeah, he had a bigger gun. I can switch shoulders, obviously. Enemies drop health elements when damaged. Collect health elements to restore health. Uh, there isn't a difficulty setting on this either, is there? Which I was kind of hoping to play it on hard or something. Maybe there's modifiers in game. Oh, this is what you meant. We wield the gun. The board appoints you. Congratulations, director. Something's coming. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Keep the bureau safe. Did 
Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. <laughs> happy to be here. Things have quieted down outside. Is yeah, we'll see. Go? Look at this map, right? Um, we can't really manipulate the map at all. We need to proceed further into the bureau. Um, it seems fairly walled off, although it looks like there'll be some choice as to where we go. Uh, but uh, we'll just head towards the objective for now until we get an, a sense of how to explore. Oops. And how to, and you know, if things get cut off. So, weird. Oh, great! What? You can't let this happen. 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 Oh, hey guys. Oh, we took a lot of damage then. Does our health reach out, refill at all, or do we need to... These, these blue things are health anyway, right? Where did... Oh, God, we're the director. Jesse Faden. <laughs> okay. Wasn't there an elevator door here? Yeah, so the building is changing. It's more security guards. This isn't this isn't and like a pause either when we do the map, so we've got to be careful doing that. Unlimited ammo though, I like it. Can we like shoot through glass? The hotline. Secure line of communication. Guide us. Reach the hotline. Reach the hotline. The hotline, says the dead man. Okay. I think the auto aim's reasonably generous. Oh, Jesus, man. Executive Affairs. There's quite a lot of side rooms here, so we'll have a little look around. Uh, a weapon mod. Uh, this ammo cost per shot is less. A, a level one grip 
grips reliable with semi-auto fire that's deadly at short range and long range. Not sure what that means. Objects of power. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note. Remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP. Of right, we already we, we saw that as part of it. Yeah. When, okay, service weapon. Acquisition date 1964. No unique procedures required. The object's form is variable. When bound, the object allows. Para utilitarians to this redacted. This object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of director. The object will determine whether something, whether we're worthy or something. If rejected, the applicant is terminated. This process is dictated by the weapon itself though their criteria is unknown. Oh right, dictated by some unknown presence. The object was discovered inside the oldest house in the room that is now used as the director's office. The popular hypothesis redacted many forms throughout his takes many different forms. Mjolnir, Excalibur, oh right, okay. Objects of power, OOP, right. If objects of power are the converge are the converge of forces based on the collective subconscious then this may be the original manifestation of that event this is the case redacted <laughs> to trenches photograph so much is expected from the director the responsibility and the privilege Zachariah Trench so he obviously failed the test to use the weapon and protect the bureau stop talking man Look at all these office workers just strung up. Very disturbing. A shelter. Or investigations. Altered world events. For Marshall's eyes only, from Marshall to L. Keenan. Subject, another dud. We checked out the suspected altered world event in Duluth. Wasn't anything, just like the house fire before this. And the man malfunctioning clothes dryer before that. My team is getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find a better way. God, typos. To sort out the fake ores from the real thing. Or you need to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're en route to Sherman Ranch. Next one on the list. Let's hope it's a little livelier there. Sincerely, Special Agent Keenum. Is that you, Keenum? Okay. Materials. Unrefined reading. Conceptual material. Uh, we need clearance levels to access it. Okay, so that was just like a bit of loot, I'm guessing. Oh! Scared the hell out of me, man. Lots of offices, yeah. Uh, desks, sorry. Interesting. Dinner reservations at 7 at Chez Ombre. Wife will meet you there, don't be late. Flowers are ready for you at the lobby reception. Remember, she's turning 46. Don't let mold hitch a ride. Perform daily bodily checks for foreign plant matter. Yes. Is there a way to get the UI stuff to fade out a little bit?
interface. There we go. I just I'd like it to disappear when we're not shooting, right? So we can just look at the game as it is. No, it's just on or off. All right. So like when this game first came out and I was looking into playing it, um, I know that it was I knew that it was quite hard to run. I didn't have as good of a PC setup, so um, I know that some people had complained about some things not being in the game, which is why I mentioned mods to you guys in Alan Wake. Uh, but like like there wasn't there didn't used to be a walk button in the game, but that has since been added. I looked this stuff up like you know when the closer to when the game originally came out. Um, so I just had my eye on a couple of... One was just modding in a walk button, but we don't need to do that because that's been patched in in the last couple of years. And the other thing was a, a dynamic HUD because I like the, having the mission on screen constantly in the health bar just annoys me a little bit. Remind oh, sorry. Reminder, if you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. <laughs> One. Search the room for any altered items or objects of power. 2. Carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. 3. Wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. Ooh. If you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. 1. Search the room for any altered items or objects of power. 2. Carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. 3. Wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Not sure if there'll ever be anything in a bathroom, but oh, bloody toilet roll! It scared me to death. We're gonna, get, we're gonna have to get used to all these floating bodies. Executive meeting minutes. Uh, to executive staff from admin. Rising costs of all response. Update on mold eradication efforts. Upcoming annual salary review. New supply of coffee filters to be found and vetted. Please come prepared. Thank you for your time. So, I mean, I guess there is... This does raise the question of whether this place exists outside of time. In some weird way. Probably not. I guess the uniforms that people are wearing seem pretty modern. This is another bathroom, I take it. There'll be something in one of these one day. Right. Yeah. Doesn't look very 60s in terms of the outfits. Hey up. to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Yeah. Nope, no thanks. Not into country music. Look at this, man. Lots of little stuff everywhere. Compiled by Paula Bronte and Lorenzo Dunn, researchers by order of Emily Pope, a research specialist. Examination of pa paranatural topics, urban legends, summary. 
Urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials, but can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Urban legends are understood as the modern evolu evolution of Jung's archetypes. Oh, great Carl Jung. <laughs> great. Uh, we recognize certain redacted informed by our own redacted and popularized by our media. We have, an ad we have additionally proven that urban legends can be artificially something in popular culture using something. Our bureau made anthology television program. Once the seeds are sown, human imagination exacerbates the details. Certain paranatural phenomena contain clear elements of popularized folklore, laws that only occur on redacted. Are these going to get revealed at some point? Because these are a bit frustrating to read. A pair of scissors that can... Because, you know, it's just going to involve me reading this stuff twice if they do get revealed. These details living in the minds of so many have been given strength through belief. Urban legends are not just stories for children, they're paranatural realities waiting to happen. Refer to another file for the full report. Visitor evaluations. How to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby. Welcome to the FBC, established in 64 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We're proud to serve the U.S. and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. If they don't leave, then ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? So we are in New York. How did you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and that they need to leave. If their answers seem suspicious, escort them to a private room. There, perform the gunner's psychological assessment. If their responses are within acceptable range of deviance to the provided scoring sheet, then something immediately. Remember, there's no such thing as too suspicious. Hmm. So we're, we're, we're like a liaise. We're liaising with somewhere else. These guys are coming to life. Aren't you, fella? Hey, no grenades! Hey! Guys, tanky. I need some help. Got an echo of trench. The control point. What does that mean? Help me fix it. Right, hang on. We've got a uh, some new mods, personal mods, energy boost. Uh, do we even have energy? I don't know what that means. Excuse me. Reload efficiency. Yeah, let's take that instead. Assets, conceptual material, hidden trend. Don't have a clearance level. Alright. Cleanse it then. We've heard that name. With the Bureau. Are you still sane? I 
can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope. Emily Pope. Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Oh, okay. All right, they're locked in here. Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Mm. Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yeah, exactly. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. I wonder okay. if... Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. it out rips them apart the hiss agent compiled by emily emily pope we have we heard her <laughs> by orders of director jesse Faye. We heard, her name was on one of the files we read a few minutes ago field research on the hiss entity this corrupted agent confidential summary the hiss manifests in human hosts in numerous ways. The most common and least intense form is seen in many corrupted agents floating throughout the Bureau. The hiss agents have maintained their human appearance, undergoing no obvious physical transformation. The most notable distinction from an unaffected human is the fact that they levitate. These hiss displayed no aggressive behavior. 
They only seem interested in vocalizing the strange incantation ad infinitum. Perhaps these vessels are only meant to propagate the hiss corruption like spores or Wi-Fi boosters. Or are they cocoons preparing to enter their next stage of evolution? When attacked, hiss agents disappear, perhaps entering a state of invisibility or undergoing a transformation into a purely resonant form. Research is ongoing. Refer to redacted file for a full report. Jesse, over here. Yes, yes, yes. We need to make a plan, Jesse. Okay. Okay, okay. Alright guys, I think I'm going to leave the video there because we I think this is purely auto saves on this. I'm not I don't think we can can we we can't save the game ourselves. So Oh, I think it just saved then anyway. I think that little logo in the bottom right. I, I'm still not blocking any part of the UI, so I'll probably just leave it here. Uh, right, interesting. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just got such a different feel to it, hasn't it? The the way we're just kind of thrust in here, there's very little setup, which I really like. I like just figuring things out as we're going through. Um, what's led us here is our brother, Dylan, who was abducted, taken by the Bureau 17 years ago. Whether the, the weird kaleidoscopic thing affects the voice in our head that drew us here is our brother itself. Or if it's something different, uh, I guess we'll find out a bit later. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the beginning of this series. It's the first episode in a new series, so if you left me a like on the video, that would help me out. And just remember, everybody, never trust an on-crate. I'll see you next time.